Well, hello from Rishikesh. Not exactly the place where we were supposed to end up, but we did end up there. How we ended up here, that's what you're going to see in this vlog. But before we start, I would highly advise you to not watch this vlog with little children because there will be some very, very explicit language involved. Namaste, good morning from Agra. Mera naam Ivanahe. My name is Ivana. You guys wanted me to speak more Hindi. There you go. Today is going to be a very interesting day because yesterday it was announced like super last minute that the 5,000 and the 1,000 rupee notes are not valid anymore. You cannot pay with them. And what does Ivana have left? Only 500 rupee notes, maybe 100 rupee notes. The joy. I do have a um, possible solution though because I always carry like a little stash of American dollars with me for situations like this. And uh, yeah, so I'm trying, I'm going to try to pay my homestay with the 500 rupee bills and then exchange the dollars and um, yeah, because, oh, oh, by the way, we're traveling to Delhi today. I already had bought that ticket, so we're going to Delhi and yeah, it's just going to be interesting. Okay, Pyrenees homestay, freaking awesome. You should stay with them. They have amazing, amazing guest service. This is why I freaking love India. In the Netherlands, this would never, never, never happen. So I was like, I'm sorry, I just have 500 rupee notes. Like, otherwise I can't pay the bill, help me out. And he was like, you're my guest, I will help you out. I will accept the notes and then we will exchange them. I was like, India, I freaking love you. I love you because this is India and people are nice. So, um, I am just going to check like either with Western Union or with a foreign exchange office because I need some hundred rupee notes, man. This girl needs to take a cab in two hours and I only have, well, paper because it's not money anymore. You guys are the freaking cutest, by the way. I received so many messages of you guys on Snapchat and on uh, in the comments of the previous vlog or yesterday's vlog like Ivana like the 500,000 rupee notes are not valid anymore you should do this 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 all kinds of options but I'm really hoping that I can find a foreign exchange office otherwise I will just go for Western Union which is freaking brilliant <sighs> the life man this is freaking hilarious by the way because if this happened to the Net in the Netherlands people would go berserk like people would go completely freaking mental and in India it's like yay fight corruption yay nobody has money for two days yay <laughs> also one of the reasons why I love India always look on the bright side of life right <laughs> guess who just got foreign currency exchange so I exchanged ten dollars for like 600 rupees and I am guessing I didn't get ripped off at least I hope so because I got 600 instead of like 670 or something which is very very decent if this guy didn't give me like fake notes because you never know but that would be a whole different adventure for now it seems like I have money so <laughs> I'm very happy I said to him ah, good karma for you good karma for you my friend <laughs> having Charlie Batura on the street yeah, which is the best Netherlands Netherlands, Netherlands. Netherlands. yes <laughs> alrighty looks like things are going good Okay, I checked out and these guys are literally the best. <laughs> they warned me about the, uh, what is it called? The Abtufan? Abtufan Express, the train? Tufan. Tufan, Tufan train. Yeah. <laughs> they say like no Indian people take this train because it's always like five or six hours delayed. And uh, it is delayed now by five hours. You know, so. now it's uh, mm -hmm. not so much foggy, you know? Mm. And then the foggy, the train is 12 hours, 13 hours, 14 hours delay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's already delayed by five hours and it's it's 12 a.m. now. So it's delayed now. To, uh, it's scheduled now to depart at 7 p.m. tonight. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just checking for a bus ticket to Rishikesh and then we're going straight to Rishikesh and then coming to Delhi next week and I hope the pollution will also be better. It's definitely arranged. We are going to Rishikesh and we're going to be in Rishikesh tomorrow. Well, it looks like apocalypse hit today. Way worse than a zombie apocalypse is Donald Trump becoming mother flipping president of the United States of America. Honestly, I would be rather stuck in India for a week without any money 
sleeping on the streets, riding all the two fun trains. Instead of Donald Trump becoming president. 3.30 time for some no men. So I got Malai Kofta and plain rice. And of course, Malai Kofta. It has paneer. That's why I like it so much, apparently. This is just freshly made. Look at this. It smells so good. I've been literally just working for hours because I don't have anything else to do. I don't have any money to do anything else. So, yeah, that's very productive. Guys, we're in the cab and I really, really hope uh, we can find a bus on time because I have issues finding buses. <laughs> Now before we get into the situation where I completely went mental, I just need to explain the story to you. So this is what happened. This Korean guy, he comes up with an Indian guy and he wants to go to the washroom because we were waiting at the house of this lady for our bus to arrive. He was also supposed to go to Rishikesh. So he walks inside, the Indian guy follows him or at least tries to follow him. Follow him. And the Indian lady, she says, no, he stays outside, he's not coming into my house. To be very, very fair, she was not nice to him. She said it in a very, very degrading tone, not nice. I would have done it differently. But still, it's her house, she can do whatever she wants. So this Indian guy starts flipping out to her. They start yelling at each other, she starts yelling louder, he starts yelling louder. They just get into this crazy fight. And at one point, she gets more quiet, she starts calling people, he wants her to hang up, so he is touching her phone in her house. And he starts yelling louder and louder, and at one point, I feel like he might slap her. This is where a switch flipped in my head, and I went like completely Yugoslavian monkey mental on this guy. Here's what happened after that. One of the few times I fucking lost it. Like I, no, I don't mess around. This is your house. Is I'm waiting house. here for the bus. This, this is this lady's house. One guy, one Asian guy brings someone from Agra. I don't know, it's his friend, his driver. I don't give a, a ish. Woo! I'm trying to control myself. And this guy starts shouting at her like a madman because she does not allow him to stand in her mother flipping house. So I listened to him screaming for 50 minutes. Really? Really? You're gonna come back? Really? You're gonna come back? I'm filming you right now. I will call the fucking police on you. Go away. This is her house. What are you doing here? Go away. Go away. This is not your house. It's her house. And please take your friend away from you. This is so disrespectful. You should be ashamed of yourself. There you go. You see me lost it. I am. Woo! No. Mm -mm. You don't disrespect the person in their own mother flipping house. Mm -mm. This guy is still freaking standing in front of the door. Like. What? I don't lose my patience easily these days. I used to when I was younger. But I am still Yugoslavian. You do not want my Yugoslavian ass angry. <laughs> Look at this. This is ridiculous. What is he doing? What an idiot. Am I sorry about this? No, not at all. I felt that he was being so disrespectful to her in her own house and especially because she was a woman. If she would have been a man, he definitely wouldn't have acted like he did. And that's what she also told me afterwards and that was also what my gut was telling me. And I was like, I can't sit here and see this woman get disrespected in her own house. Can you imagine get disrespected in your own house for not allowing a stranger to enter? So no, I'm not sorry about this. Okay, we're in the overnight bus and I have like a single sleeper, which is 
fine. I don't think I'll be getting that much sleep. There are a lot of men. <laughs> They're nice. They gave me the, the single sleeper. Um, the guy who was angry, he actually came up to me and he apologized. He was like, no, no, no. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, fine. You know, everybody makes mistakes. And then he stopped traffic for me and the Korean guy and um, tried to help with the bags and everything. I don't, I don't know if he was genuinely sorry. Right now, I'm going to try to sleep. So, see you. This might be one of the. This is the worst day in India. It's not the worst day in travel, but it's the worst. Lost it again. This guy, he just opens up the curtains, taps me on the ass twice, and points at my breast something. Even if a fucking Western guy <coughs> tap me on the ass out of the fucking blue, you have a problem. You do not touch me. You do not touch me. If you touch me, you touch me on the shoulder. You do not touch my ass. I was furious, so uh, yeah, I went off at him. I was like, "You do not! What the fuck do you think? Like touching my ass? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking mind? I'm sorry. This is this is not appropriate for children. If you're watching this with children, do not do that. I will put a warning at the beginning of this vlog. Like." <coughs> And no, I'm not blaming India because this, this honestly, like, a Dutch guy could have done this too. I'm just not amused at all, ever, when a guy touches my fucking ass out of the fucking blue. Mm -mm. Just in general, do not touch me. And to be fair, he could have thought that I was a guy because he saw me from behind and I'm just wearing jeans and sneakers you can see it right now i'm a hoodie was over my head so that that could have been it but my instinct when, <laughs> when someone touches me in general is <laughs> i go <up> <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna try to sleep some more am i sorry about this i don't know because this guy he wasn't sorry after he found out that I was a woman. So initially he might have thought that I was a guy, but when he found out that I was a woman, he just kept staring at me blankly and pointing at my birth. And I don't know what he wanted, but I was like, dude, you're being so freaking disrespectful. You are touching my ass, not once, but twice. And you're not even saying sorry, even if it was a mistake. So. No, I don't think I'm sorry about this at all. I feel just disrespectful to touch um, to touch anyone without their consent, you know? But especially like a man touching a woman on her ass. Nowhere in the world <laughs> is this normal. It's 9 a.m. Um, this bus is so okay. slow. We were supposed to arrive this morning at yeah, 6.30. Boy. It's 9 and it's taking so freaking long. Every time I think, okay, it's almost an hour, almost an hour, and then I look at Google Maps and nope. The Joy, your girl is stranded in Haridwar and <laughs> the rickshaw drivers are asking 600 to take me to Tabawa. Hell no. Found the rickshaw, the Rishikesh, for 50 rupees. And then from there, we need to go to Tabawa. It's already 12 p.m. and I'm just. This is an intense travel day, man. I have never had such an intense travel day. So I ordered some food, dal makhni and rotis, and I'm just gonna have some good food first, and then find a rickshaw to travel around. So we did this. from a wonderful nap we are staying in the hills and heritage hotel the hotel where i stayed last year in rishkesh and i am so happy to be here kabir thank you so much for recommending me to go here instead of delhi because my health just really needed the mountains and i 
uh, and very much looking forward to walking around, which is what we're going to do right now. Also, the people from the... Oh, wait, let me show you the room. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so let me flip you around. This is the bed, a massive bed. Can you see my laptop over there? Can you see this chair? This bed is freaking huge. This space is huge. Wait, look at me. This was my little makeshift tripod. So the room is huge. As you can see, I can do yoga over here. This is why I also liked the hotel last year. And this is the bathroom, also very big, and I have a hot water shower. Um, this is the hallway, which I, well, it's nice to come in. For those of you wondering how much did you pay, the prices are higher, but because I'm a returning customer, I got it for 500 rupees per night. Whee! Oh my god, Ganga, I've missed you, you beautiful, beautiful water. Today, it was announced that these will not be valid anymore as of tomorrow. Banks are closed. No, tomorrow the banks are closed. The ATMs are closed for two days, I think. 